Mm. So recently, there has been a lot of attention <coughs> on the talk that young people should rise and take bold steps to leadership in the roles in Nigeria. Mm. However, several young aspirants have, uh, who have intended to contest for presidency have emerged. And we have Omoyele Shore in the building with us. He's a human rights and pro-democracy campaigner. Mm -hmm. He's also the founder and publisher of the much-cited Sahara Report as well. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you for bringing me to Nigeria. So Good we're morning. going to um, <laughs> cut through all the drama because we want to go straight to the point. Okay. There's a lot to talk about. I wouldn't say why you want to be president because we all know the issues. Yeah. Everybody, we, we are clear on we the know issues. The problems. Yeah. Our question is, what pedigree or content do you have to deliver? What exactly qualifies you to become the president? Mm. Thank you. Um, I have uh, 30 years of uh, content, 30 years of experience fighting for the betterment of this country, starting from when I entered the University of Lagos, or I was admitted <coughs> to the University of Lagos in 1989. I was then 18 years old. And I joined hand immediately to fight what was Nigeria's biggest problem at that time, which was the military. Mm -hmm. And fought consistently with some of the boldest and bravest in this country mm -hmm. to drive the military out of power. Mm -hmm. And by 1999, I had been fighting consistently for 10 years. Mm -hmm. Between 1999, by next year, which is going to be 20 years later, <coughs> I have assisted in bringing about democracy to Nigeria, mm -hmm. delivering democracy to Nigerians. So that is my own past experience. But between 99 and now, I've helped to strengthen that democracy. As you have introduced me, I started a media company that was able to foil an attempt for someone to become a Mugabe in Nigeria, brought about democracy, I mean democratic consolidation by ensuring that a vice president who was from a minority part of Nigeria became president when the cabal was going to prevent him from doing so. I also partook alongside others, young people in this country, in bringing about party to party transition, which was in 2015. And how did we do it? We ensured that we announced the election results instantaneously, such that the darkness that used to frustrate our electoral credibility was taken out of okay, it. Mr. Shore, uh, yes. I believe that with not just activism yes. is um, the pedigree that you need. I think Nigerians no, no. need a no, no, leader. I, I'm I'd like to hear how much of leadership, because let's, everybody knows. I don't, this, or this, or leader, tell me, I was, how, do, how, how, how much do you think? And I want to go to leadership. Okay. I was also president of the University of Lagos Student Union, one of the most vibrant at that time. I'm very controversial. Yes and fought to protect that campus, fought to bring about the kind of university activism we are seeing today. You, when you say that people <coughs> who are activists are not leaders, you are saying that activism is not leaders. The people, people who are strength. leaders here, though, Maybe. the people who are leaders, though, if you let me finish for a second, are the same people who were hiding under their bed in the 90s when I was fighting on the street facing yeah, police and tanks. So, what is their leadership experience? Stealing, killing, assassination. Okay. But you don't accept my own, but you can accept that of Mandela, yeah. who spent time in jail right. as an activist. You can accept that of Obama, who was a community <coughs> organizer and became a Mr. president Shari. of the U.S. If you would so, only let me finish. Yes, <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm let you know. I'm saying that as an activist, yes. yes, you were very strong. Yes. But you'll be greatly missed as an activist once you get into leadership. No, so no, how I'm taking the activism. In, in fact, you can see the activism in our <laughs> campaign already. Yes. Yes. I'm taking the activism to <laughs> the villa. Okay. And you will see some of the most vibrant policies. Yes. I'm going to have policies that I won't just throw policies at people. If I say construct certain kilometers, you see me on that road enforcing the construction. I will not be running a country with contractors without builders. Okay. All right. So, but let me take talking about head. activism, yes. that's my own fear. That you're going to go there and scatter the whole place. No, 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 no. So, so what I'll say is that there's a difference between scattering and disrupting. Yes. The so, system so. is ripe for disruption. We need to disrupt our civil service. Mm. We need to disrupt the way business is done sure. in me, such a way ask, that it will favor the question. people. We need to bring technology to government. We need to drive out all the lazy leaders that we have or rulers. Yes. 
You said to um, the Emir of Kano over the yeah. weekend when you went to see him that you have come to disrupt the political system. Space, space, yeah. yes. And you have been disrupting the political space with your activism with Sahara reporters, exposing everybody exposable. That's correct. Right? So my fear is that Ishoware, as the president of Nigeria, just going <laughs> to lock up Nigeria, close yeah. our borders. Hold on a minute. Remove us from OAU, remove us from UN, no. arrest everybody that he believes was <laughs> stealing from our coffers, you know, and just go ahead and... Because some people say that suspend the rule of law as far as that you're doing the right thing to bring Nigeria back to its We can't suspend glory. the rule of law. We can't suspend the rule of law. We have a constitution that we're going to work with. What you are expressing as fair is the same thing that you probably expressed when I was saying, you know, president when people will say to us, look, let's go home, let's graduate. But we said to them, we, we, in, into which world are you graduating <coughs> when you have people stealing your resources? And we have to fight them and recover and reclaim our space. You were there when we were fighting against courtism. Throughout my stay at the University of Lagos, no student was killed, right, by court. The but year I left, was brought to his knees. Yes. I, I agree. the year I left and went back there, they were shooting people on the streets of the University of Lagos. They were shooting through their nose, through their brains. Yeah. And it was that kind of leadership that we needed at that time. Today, we are happy there is no courtism at the University of Lagos. I'm not saying it's completely gone, but that sacrifice okay. that I made uh, at that time okay. helps <coughs> to <coughs> protect right. students. I know that uh, one person cannot make a change. Yes. And uh, people have come out to say, why don't you start from maybe the House of Assembly uh, before you go to the Senate and all of that? But um, you can start from anywhere. It's Absolutely. all about you. Yes. But what is the guarantee? Because what we re need right now is a revolution. Yes. You cannot be I'm, the only I'm glad, person. I'm glad you are speaking to my aspirations yes. now. So yes. So you cannot be the only person. What are your, what are your team? What are they doing to ensure that in other uh, uh, political uh, classes, in the National Assembly, a youth is coming up, in the uh, Senate, a youth is coming up, what are they doing to make sure that it's not just you? Right. Because if you get there and you are alone, if you peradventure get there and you are alone, you will be choked. Yes, you'll be swamped. Right. You're right. And you can already see that the, the platforms are emerging all over the place for young people to take over power wherever they want. But let me be very clear. If we start using the word young, young, we are also making a mistake of a sense of entitlement. People should not just say you should become a leader because you are young. It should be because you are responsible. Because otherwise, you have a situation of kogi in your hand, yeah. where, there's a, mm. where there are two young people, you know, I don't want to use the word despicable uh, in your station. You have used it too. Yes, exactly. <laughs> who are making it disgraceful for us to even think young people can think or okay, act or you, act right. Let me, so, yes. let, me, let, me, let me cut you off a bit because there's a lot we want to get out of you. So that's, yeah. we don't want to dwell too much. But you, you should been, know that been, other people been, want to get some things out of you. You've been throwing so a lot of careful. figures around saying it you're going to make 100,000 Naira the minimum wage. Yes. Mm. You're going to give young people 50,000 Naira. You're going to build youth coppers, youth coppers yes. uh, 50,000 Naira. Now, it's, it's, it's nice and fluffy to easy, say, yeah. easy to make to this, see. throw these figures out. But you see, you've not given us any economic plans. Mm. What do you plan to do? How do you look, plan? Because there's no money today. That's why minimum wage is about no, there's, 6, look, there's money. Don't let them deceive you that there's okay. no money. We, in fact, we have so much money, you can find it anywhere you go. Under the pillow, you know, they put it in the sink. Right. Snakes are swallowing. Yes. <laughs> snakes are monkeys. swallowing it. Monkeys are... There's right. money. The problem with Nigeria is that there's never going to be enough for the greedy. Mm. Yeah. But there's always enough for the needy. Mm -hmm. right. And that's the point to make. We have done our calculation. There is no way you can run a civil service with people being paid $46 a month. That's like unconscionable salary. The last time the salary was increased in this country, it was increased by 100% under Basson No increment has happened. But guess what? The National Assembly has increased its own allowances over 5,000%. Yeah. Mm. The, yes, they came, the, even the body that is responsible for fixing the allowances said they are only entitled to one point something million per month. But each of them are taking home 13 .5. million. Point five. And they also have 200 million yes. constituency Access. projects. Yes. In addition to the extortion processes that they carry out by what, when they go and say that they are visiting <laughs> MDAs, ministries, departments, and, and uh, agencies. agencies, and they are doing oversight. That's the greatest level of extortion mm. that any, and you are paying these people you are paying salaries I mean, you are paying people who are not working 
very lazy leaders, very corrupt, incompetent, mediocre. You are paying them huge amount of right. money. You are not paying Nigerians. Right. And people ask for economic blueprint. I don't want to use that That's word because they've used that to they fool us for too long. Boy. There are acres of economic. The simple truth is that put money in the hands and pockets of people who are working. Okay. Okay. Create a country where people can go I, to work. We want to put the young people back. The reason why young people are mad about what Buhari is saying in London is because they are ready to work, but there's nobody who is helping them to get the job. Yes. Nobody, they don't I even totally want to work with federal with government. Yes. They totally want to create agree. their own okay, businesses. They want to create technological Nigerian, platforms. Right. But there's no electricity. The Nigerian right. no youth outside this country, yes. they do better. Do magic. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. the environment is... In fact, is the, only, the only place where Nigeria doesn't work for Nigerians is Nigeria itself. You have to really wait to listen. Yes, I have this question. Because this is a democracy, yes. all these plans that you have are, is beautiful, but because it is a democracy, this set of people, those powerful National Assembly members who are doing nothing but getting large money, mm -hmm. will still have to determine how mm -hmm. government runs. Exactly. Yeah, true. But, because but, but we have a they chance. They practically destabilize our president. The constitution has put you Nobody at their your president. mercy. Your president didn't have capacity to do anything. That's his problem. Worry. Nobody destabilized So him. how do you intend? Because Mr. President told, promised no, no. us to so fight so corruption. I'm, I'm going to answer your question. Is that the message of the National question. Assembly? How I, do you intend to operate okay. so without I'm going to answer people? your question. The opportunity has opened up, not only to elect me as the president of the Federal Republic of okay. Nigeria, but to also unelect the people that are operating at the coven of thieves, which is the Senate and the House of Reps, don't elect them. This is a chance we have. The election is not for the president alone. It's for the election of other people. There are decent people across the country you, you, who can represent. You think you have the team of people around you of who course. contest for these offices within Absolutely. every constituency? Mm. Since I came here about 14 days ago, I've been to Kano, Kaduna. I'm going to Oweri later today. I'll be in Edo. People with integrity. And all we, are, we are meeting people of integrity who are willing okay. to contest. All right. and, but the parties, <coughs> as they are, structurally will not make it happen. Because for you to get a nomination form right. from two of the behemoths, you have yeah. to have billions We'll talk about the Naira. party issue when we come back. Let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to your... Thanks for staying with us. We mentioned the issue of party. Um, have you identified any political party that you're a part of right now? No, we're talking to a lot of I want to form a coalition of parties because that's the only way we can bring in enough uh, energy, yeah. uh, enough synergy to mm -hmm. confront the ones that have already established themselves. Uh, you probably heard that I met uh, Balarabi Musa. Mm -hmm. He's uh, the leader of the oldest party in Nigeria, the People Redemption <coughs> Party, PRP. I met with uh, the ANRP guys. Uh, I also have met with COA, I've met with a lot of parties. Mm -hmm. And a lot of parties have also come to us okay. mm -hmm. to say they want to join this coalition. So the coalition of parties will be delivering my candidacy. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. sure you know that Buhari has a lot of followers, especially in the North. Yes. Kano. yes. Massive. That at some point, political scientists want to understudy that. How do you intend to emerge as a winner? I just came back from Kano, mm -hmm. right, and I was followed in Kano. Mm -hmm. I did a town hall meeting in Kaduna. I was the followed educated there. educated? Yes. By and the illiterates? Yes. No, Not the, the masses. The masses, the ma see, The 30% the, the, the mistake sometimes we make, even as political scientists, is that we think that the masses just remain in the same place. Okay. They are dynamically they evolve. evolving. Okay. You know, for example, my grandmother has a Facebook page. Mm. Yes, and most yeah. of your grannies have. Mm. They have bank accounts. Mm -hmm. Even when they cannot maintain one, they ask people to show them what's going on on there. So somehow they are part of the new mass, you know, but and they have become also critical mass because of the kind of information that they okay. get. All right. So what I want to address quickly is the fact that the, it's a myth that Buhari has this mass following. Okay. The people in the north followed Buhari because they were very poor, the Talaka was, and they were looking for somebody who could take them out of poverty. Okay. He has failed them. Okay, now let's talk about security, because obviously we're in a state of insecurity in this country yes. right now. If you become president, what you, <coughs> how do you intend to tackle this issue of security? So the security challenges we have are basically across the country. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go, there's a challenge somewhere. Mm -hmm. And that tells you that the security architecture in the country is no. faulty. I'll give you an example. Boko Haram. Mm -hmm. Boko Haram is flourishing because army generals don't want the war to end. Mm. You saw what happened. They walked, you know, just leisurely into a high school in Dapchi, picked up 
110 girls. Worked when out. when it was time, they walked back and dropped them. And, dropped them. and Nigeria has become the biggest contributor to Boko Haram through ransom payments. What are you going to do differently? No, you see, there are two tracks. Either we defeat Boko Haram How? by upping our, uh, our game uh, as the military or as security agencies mm -hmm. through aggressive intelligence gathering. Mm -hmm. And also, if necessary, where if we can do that, we have to explore other options. For example, I li I've lived in the U.S. for 19 years, yeah. you know, and the U.S. is fighting a lot of wars. They are fighting outside terrorism of the US. outside of the even inside of the U.S. Mm. But the most important thing you see there is that you can tell that the security agencies are interested in ending and doing their job. Mm. I'll give you an example. Mm. BBC reported that Shekau was almost being killed mm. by the military. They already had him uh, under control. But they, they stood them down. Yeah, they said they got a call. They called, yeah, they to, got step a call to stop it. So you have to get rid of all those admin generals. When you talk about headsmen, mm. headsmen are doing what they are doing because they have people who are supporting them actively. So you How agree you with them out? You agree oh, with T.Y. Danjuma, right? T.Y. Danjuma is not, T.Y. Danjuma is the person who said it later. We have been reporting it on Sahara Reporters how army generals were stealing money before they were even arrested. Yeah, how do you fish them okay. out in the it's, military? It's, it's the easiest yeah. thing in intelligence. I do it now. I fish out these generals. I report okay. about them. Sure. I mention their names. I mention where they have houses. I was the first to fish out the chief of army staff when he went and bought houses in Dubai. When you keep such a person in the military, you are encouraging younger military officers okay. that stealing is not a crime. Yes. The last time you and I sat together, you were talking about a revolution. Yes. So I know that you've always had a revolution behind your mind. And you have the dossier of who is doing what, you know, criminally yeah. and legally in Nigeria. Yeah. You've done very well. I must commend you with um, Sahara reporters. Yeah. Um, but then my question immediately is, so when you do become the president, right? Yes. And you appoint, and I hope it won't take you six months to do it. No, it's going to happen if, <laughs> not later than a week after inauguration. And you, are, and you appoint all the people that want to help you take Nigeria to the um, next level. Next level. Yes. Are you going to allow them to do their job with your mindset of revolution? What do I mean by that? You were given a right by Benga Obasanjo. Yes. He thought he was doing you a favor. No, he wasn't doing me a favor. <laughs> I, I didn't actually need a right. Okay. I had a right ready at the border. Okay. Yes. And the next thing, you brought out a report that exposed <laughs> him, his father, his yeah. wife. Everyone thought I, that that was, I no. mean, below. The belt. No, no, that's not true. Uh, his father was trying to do third term at that time, mm -hmm. right. and the country was almost going to break apart. Mm -hmm. And he exposed, he actually exposed his father to me. Mm -hmm. Not only did he do that, it, two weeks after that interview, he went and sued his father mm -hmm. in court, mm -hmm. accusing his father of fathering his He's, kids. Yes. This is the court documents. I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. He did that. Okay. So he had legitimate. Uh, yeah. grievances right. against his father okay. and he used he, he spoke to me about it I published and he followed up later I had later some others really, traditional rulers went and resolved right. it, it wasn't me I want us to go to back again to your ambition because yes. Nigerians yes we have the APC have the PDP have the leaders out there mm -hmm. and we've been hearing that young people they want young they want younger leaders or more or a fresh option mm -hmm. yes. Nigerians generally want a fresh option yes now going back to the fact that there are other factors like oh he's a Yoruba man Oh, it's a, it's a northern turn. Mm. Oh, in the south, it's 2023 yeah. is going to, going to the, uh, the east. There's all this issue of um, uh, federal character principle. How would it affect us deciding to go with, to, to choose you no, as I, a president? Honestly, I have not seen that since I started this. I think people are already tired. They know that all those divisive tactics of ethnicity, religion, it's not going to work or the turn by turn. Look, I give you three examples. We've had a president now from the north, Several of them, the north is the poorest part of the country. There's no question about it. Empirically, physically, the evidence is there. They don't link of, their wealth of, to the president. They're okay with him just being a part of their no, but they, that region. Is, that is also changing because the north that you used to know, like I said, has evolved over time. Okay. And people are getting smarter. We had a southwestern president for eight years. He couldn't construct the road from Lagos to Ota, you. his village. So <laughs> we had the one from the south-south. He couldn't provide water provide road from his village, I mean, from Potako to his village. Mm. So they couldn't finish the north, I think it's the east-west highway yeah. that would have brought about oh, yeah. prosperity and safety for the people of the Niger, Niger Delta Niger region. Bridge. The Niger Delta is broken now, and people there are broke. 
but they had someone from the area who, so people have, they've exhausted all those options. And like I said somewhere yesterday, all these tactics have led to only one thing. The leaders of Nigeria, according to that musician, I don't know him, said one thing about penalty were throwing. You know, <laughs> so they dribbled themselves out of relevance. And it's just for us to take okay. Let me right take this now. call. Yes. Good morning, Yakub. Are you there? I'm here. Mario. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Yeah, good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yeah, thank you very much. My question to you this morning is, uh, is so simple and clear. You see, you, 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 we, we have clamor for you to become a president in this country. Yes, there's no doubt about it. But the question is this. Do you have the structure? The structure, I mean, is this. We, you, you said earlier that the female and House of Representatives, they are getting 13.5 million at the running cost. Is that true? Yes. That's you know, true. all this money that they are getting, there's, part, there's some of the part of money that we made for politics. And then we know the country will find ourselves. We, 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 the, the people that go to vote, presidency and other people, they are very poor. And then if they give them the cup of ice, they give them 1,000 naira, they are going to for them. You don't have the structure because in our area here, when we are talking about PDP and APC, are you getting it now? By the time the election is coming up, you see they are teaming up their campaign. What is he really talking about? Is that funding. Is that funding. Funding, funding political structure, stomach infrastructure. Thank you very much, Jakub. Stomach infrastructure, political structure, and all that. I understand this question. The structures are basically the people. And when people decide they want to have a seismic shift and change, the structures that they have are all, you know, made up by them to realize the ambition to enslave Nigerians. And the structures they have, we are creating parallel structures around. That's what, why I use the word disruption. Mm. Young people are the ones who are used to snatch ballot buses, right? Mm -hmm. They are the ones who are used to carry out assassinations yes. and all kinds of terrible things. <laughs> I'm just asking all those young people, and I'm reaching out to withdraw their services. For free? For free. And you know, they are hungry. Oh. And, and yes, they are hungry. Oh. But I have been around this country in the last 14 days and found out that they are not as hungry as we think. We went to Kaduna and did the town hall meeting that had over 1,000 people. Somebody bought Coca-Cola there. They said they don't want Coca-Cola. They want to listen to ideas that can free them. Okay, sure. The revolution that I was asking yeah. you about, right? You, um, you were so apolitical. You were just for justice and revolution in yes. Nigeria. I am to still for justice. To the extent that you would bring out the dossier of whoever was in power yes. and bring out all their criminal records, you would do the same for the opposition. Yes. You always seemed balanced. I yes. followed you. Yes for all your 19 going on 20 years in Sahara yeah. reporters. But in 2015, you seem to favor the Buhari candidacy. That's not correct. People accused you of being used to propagate the Buhari idea. No, so what has not. changed? No, 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 that was incorrect. You see, what people don't understand is that I and others were responsible for bringing Jonathan also to power. When so you he, never saw anything wrong in Buhari? I, if, if I didn't say anything wrong, why do you think the Buhari people hated me today? You know, what happened in 2014 and 15 was that people didn't want to hear from Jonathan because Jonathan was such a disappointment yes. that Jonathan is the person, one and only person who is responsible for bringing Buhari to power. Okay. Yes. I understand that. Yes. Okay. So every other thing you heard that she read, I, you cannot find a video of me endorsing Buhari or an article I wrote for him. But the preponderance of opinion at that time across Nigeria was such that a citizen journalism, Anybody uh, but Jonathan. Jonathan, exactly. Mm. A citizen journalism platform run by me do not control what people write as articles okay. or comments right. they make. That's, That's what people attribute to me yeah. as supporting. Let's but the moment it. Buhari started messing up, I didn't waste a We need to go minute. to the issue of messing up because I'm not sure yeah. because messing up is, is relative. We need mm. to now define what that is. But let's I take a quick when we come back with some tweets and phone calls. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. There are loads of questions on Twitter. We'll take it in a few seconds. Um, so we do not have it, your manifesto yet. So I'm hoping that will be coming. The document has soon. not been produced, but I actually have been speaking about my manifesto. Okay, so how do you how do you intend to fulfill your promise when eventually you become mm. the president? Because very it's very easy to sit back here and tell us everything you want to do and you get there now and you can perform. How can we hold you to it? So it's when you fail, question. what can we do? Yes. yes. See, the manifestos will be a covenant between me and Nigerian people. I'm not only Are we speaking. Are doing blood? 
No, it's not blood. I don't believe in all those things. <laughs> Just uh, but you have someone who has consistently done the same good thing for 30 years. You can trust him better than the people who have never been consistent. Okay. And if I say to you I'm going to do something, okay. you can always remind me about it. I'll remain on Twitter, by the way. Okay. I'll remain on Facebook. Uh, my Instagram uh, account okay. will be active. Like, like Donald Trump. I'll be answering my emails. Okay. Okay. So, okay, you'll be too so busy. We can oh, hold no. you accountable. Okay, I, cannot, I cannot guarantee you that I will answer Let's my phones because it will be a little bit too good. Get there first, don't worry. We'll so, Let's but, you. you know, I'm going to, it's, listen, I don't need to say here, not to brag, is that, you are going to have someone who is also physically active. Mm. You know, I'm okay, a I'll long distance go. runner. Okay, all right. Well done, well done, well done, sir. I've done eight, okay. eight, 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 eight marathons. Let me take this call wow. from Hassan that I come to. <laughs> He's shading our Hassan from Lekki, are you there? Thanks for calling. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Go ahead, everybody. please. Excellent good morning. morning. Uh, it's very, very interesting. And uh, I look at it from two angles. To rule Nigeria is different from hypothesis. That's it, too. You understand? What you are seeing now is a it takes somebody, it takes sacrifice, it takes selflessness, mm. it takes somebody that is ready mm. to sacrifice his life for Nigeria to rule Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You see, this is your activism. Mm. I have an issue with activists. They don't even know the real internal workings of government. They don't know it. Okay. Being in student unionism is just a tiny it's maybe not up to 1% over sure. 1 million mm. of the system of bureaucracy in Nigeria. Mm. You cannot use that. You must be ready to step on toes. You must be ready. I do that now. In terms of Buhari, do you know why people like Buhari? It's because Buhari abhors materialism. You cannot associate even the accumulation. All right. The okay. Feeling, okay. The okay. With but he's still done in his right. government. Thank chat. You very much, so, what's the time. difference? I'd like to yeah. take a few. Yes. Okay, good enough. Okay, Mr. Shore. Yes. Nigerians have been have had their dignity battered over the, exactly. over the years yes. by government, where mm -hmm. you see people hand over rather than pay salaries, owe them salaries, but give them rice for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Owe them salaries, give them ram for salary. Yeah. Mm. How do you intend to now bring these hungry people? restore their dig human dignity and bring them to your fold because I, I see it as almost impossible. Yes, what, what, what is this. human dignity? People want to work yeah. and earn living. decent living they don't even know. and you give them the job. One of the things I've said is that this country needs to be turned into a construction site where people are working to build bridges, power lines. Yes, four years. It, yes it's, not, it's not impossible. Mm -hmm. You know, we, there's no reason we should yes. not be able to construct Lagos Ibadan <laughs> Road for 20 years. Very true. Year. Exactly. So I, I should be able to do it. I told everybody in Ibadan when I was there, I should be able to do it in a month by building at least four kilometers per, per day and night. And if you open up this country with electricity, the biggest resource we have is not oil. Oil is lazy economy. Hmm. It's the Nigerian mind. Okay. Anywhere the Nigerian person okay. gets to, they are creative, they are innovative. Right. They are not lazy. Let's take some but tweets. when you don't make those things available to them, okay. enable them, Go ahead. we're in trouble. Okay. Babs Olushala, doctor, says, how do you intend to create alliance with Fela Durote? We want just one candidate. Um, Abu Bakri says, can Shore tell us his manifesto? Kelechi says, this young man Shore is making sense in his vision for this country and he will be a good leader. But the fear is that he should not let the so-called political godfathers to get control of his good revolutionary plans for this country. Um, Oga says, I saw the list of what you said you would do, Shore, job creation and power creation. How do you intend to do those? Imole Oluwashe says, um, Shore said there's not enough for the greedy, but there's always enough for the needy. I'm getting convinced, though. Um, last one, Odinaka God says, um, I think he was just quoting you. Okay, uh, let me take so, okay I have from... Uncle D here saying... Um, you have good intentions for this great country, but the powers that be and those you have offended will do everything possible to deter your ambition. Okay. So personally, I'm considering working with your team here in Kaduna State. Uh, um, Adebayo says, um, Soare is a good communicator. He lacks the capacity to rule a country like Nigeria. He's full of rhetoric and no economic plan. 
Okay. So this interview nailed it. So we'd like to know what your plans are because um, we've had um, former Governor Fashola on, on the seat. He took him um, six months to go around Nigeria to go and even find out what the problems are. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to stay in the U.S. and think you know all the problems. We mm -hmm. have 774 local governments mm -hmm. across Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So to start to, before they say, hey, he's only doing Lagos, he's only doing Port Harcourt, mm -hmm. he has not reached oh, Nigeria. Yeah. In a four-year term, what exactly let are me, your plans? Let me explain to you. When you have lazy leaders, you get lazy results, you get bureaucracy, you get excuses, and... But that's the existing yes. system. But you can't le let, me, let me tell you the size of Nigeria in a very simple way. Okay. It's just twice the size of California, the state of California. Okay. To fly from one point in Nigeria to the other would take less than an hour and a half. Any part of Nigeria. In the U.S., you to fly from hours. the east to the west, it takes six hours. Mm. Yet, there's a highway that connects those two places. There are bridges, governments, local government, every so level. Well, well, so, so they've been lying to you. And they will lie to you that you don't have resources to do what they need to do. Mm. But you they don't have a problem to travel abroad and park a plane in a mm. place that's got paying 5,000 euros for, uh, per night. Or when the son of the president fell off a bike, you have flown with two hundred fifty thousand dollars to Germany. Uh -huh. so, the only way to rest. So what, what am I trying to say to you well, is that, that don't plan. let us internalize, like you said, the lies. the lies and the oppression and also the inferiority complex that we cannot do it. We might as well just give up and pack our things and leave Nigeria. Yeah, but the thing do. is that Nigeria, this Nigerian space, we want to take it oh, back yeah, let and, let and let rebuild it. How do you do it? it? So, it's, it's just raw will right. that if right. we say we need interstate highway system, which is one of our plans, where every region is connected with a dual carriageway, okay. we will put people to do it. There are Nigerians who can do so it. There's no reason to bring, to bring a welder from Philippines to come and work in the Niger okay. Delta right. when you have now, militants. I need to ask you this before yes. we run off, because Donald Trump was saying that we need um, human, to build human capacity yes. and issue of health or yes. health Nigerians. Yes. What are your plans concerning education and health? Oh, my goodness. My teacher was a, my father was a teacher. I'm a teacher myself. And when we were in NAS, we actually set up a program for education that's called ACAREF. When we were still in 18 years old, education is very simple. Mm -hmm. One of the things we want to do is to hire teachers, 200,000 of them, to train for six months so that we don't have the Cardona situation where teachers cannot pass Perfect. primary four exams. And we put them to train our young people. You know, and we rebuild our universities. When I was at the University of Lagos, they said they want to improve education. They went and got $120 million from the World Bank. What did they do? She was there. They went and constructed fences around our dirty hostels. <laughs> the same things are happening today. But now you can create hostels that can actually become a source of revenue for the universities. Sure, you, you are one man. Corruption not, is our bane. Look, I have been fighting corruption as one man for 12 years as a high reporter. There's nobody I've not touched. I'm an equal opportunity offender, I'll as you said, step all on your, their toes. And life. I can do it as president of Nigeria better. Because now I'll be mm -hmm. the commander in chief of all the armed forces, and police, you have your team. army. We have. And you'll be locking no. all of us away. We are, we are not locking off. anybody away. <laughs> we are not locking anybody away. We, have to run off. we are just saying, look, we should do things the right. There's no reason somebody can put five billion dollar <clears throat> damn naira on a plane and take it to a kitty to rig election. And he comes to join APC, and you don't mention his name anymore as, as a corrupt person. mentioned press. this morning in the papers. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, 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 he's not, and he's not answering. And he's not answering. So what, what, what we've gotten from you is that. Yeah. You, I think the strongest part of what I've, got, what I've gotten from you is that you have the will, you have the drive, you're going to be yes. decisive regardless of it. Because we don't have so time we've been told on that, one, oh, one Nigeria hour is show. a difficult, complex no, look, thing. That's what and I said. it's not. Yes. Like, actually, once you have the will, you can actually it's, get it done. It's it. That's what you saying. What I call, okay. you know, they don't understand the simplicity of complexity. Mm. That's the problem with our leaders. Nigeria is not complex. Unfortunately, we have know? to stop right there. Thank you very much. We wish you the best of luck. Interesting We're looking Thank for you. options. And we're going to bring more people, more young people on the couch. Yes. As long as you want to take the arm of leadership, regardless of which state, I could be Senate, House of Rep, whatever it is, yes. we'll which support party? you, want to push you out there, and wish you the best. Thank you so much. Wish you the best, sir. Oh, we can Thank take you. on the show today. Have Thank a fabulous you. weekend. we we'll see you Monday.